Hi everybody, it's D. I'm back. Um, not organized, of course, already. Oh, I wanted to actually show you. I have a message from Nana. I was emailing her and I couldn't believe it when she actually answered me. Um, you know, in the middle of everything. And I was going to read it out to you, but I'd have to go and get the iPad now and go into the emails and everything. So basically what Nana said, she's just so good. She's just, even in the best, the best, well, what she's suffering, she's thinking of everybody else. And she just asked if I would give a message that she's just so, so grateful to everybody. And she just, she will read. She can't read all the emails and she can't read or watch the videos at the minute. But she will. She'll watch every single one of them, she said. And I just told her to, not to be worried about that. Take her time. We're all here for her. And um, told her who was doing videos and who was praying for her and everything like that. So, like, isn't she just wonderful to be thinking like that? And she's just amazing. As was Papa. Definitely. So today we have a little journey here. And as some of you might already know, I've done a few community posts in that and on Instagram. She's up for sale, even though I only have her a few weeks, guess. I have been searching for a Corolla Wedgewitch sculpt for six years now, on the 8th of July, which was the Fridolin, which I told you before is the one I started off with. And then I found out that it, it was a fraud. It was just one of those cheap copies that you buy on YouTube, which of course, I didn't know anything about then, so I had to get rid of her. And then I got another one, as you all know, which I ended up sending back because my artist let me know that um, she didn't have the signature on the back of the neck because I had sent her to Mary in Dublin for some repairs. And um, that's how I found out, but I did get my money back for her. And then I had the beautiful uh, Frida, is it? But, um, yeah, there was just something about the, the, the colouring that I wanted and that just wasn't right with her either. So I gifted her to the beautiful Kim, Kim Philpin. Yeah, and then um, the reason why this one just came up all of a sudden and her face and hands and everything is exactly like the first sold out Fridolin. And, you know, with the human hair and the rooted eyelashes and eyebrows and the, she, she was originally uh, painted by an artist in Russia. Her painting was immaculate, so I just went for it because I'd seen the Heidi sculpt. And I just love the face as well, the Heidi. But it was the straight legs with her that was put in the off as well. And then I saw her on Susie Q's Bunting Babes and Suzanne has one. Suzanne's babies. So they just are, were so stunning that I thought, right, I'm going to go for it. And also because she looked, you know, so much like my first daughter. My first daughter was so blonde like this and her eyes were so light blue. So, she's for sale. Anyway, I just could not get used to the straight legs. The Ella one, a um, friend of mine got recently, I would have loved. She would have been perfect or Wilma or somebody with, you know, bent legs. But Carola Redgwood, she's always bringing out sculpts. So I thought even if it's another couple of years... God willing, if I'm still here, I will get one eventually. But there's no point in settling for something that you're just not happy with. So she's £200 posted in the UK. But if it's outside the UK, because there's going to be a big box opening and everything, you'll have to pay the shipping. And um, I told you before about the painting. I was on about the, 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 her head being a little bit light. Then whenever I got little Robin here from Annie Bananas. I was just wondering, guys, because here we go, little man. When I was thinking then and pressing him like this and that on his head, I don't think the heads are actually meant to be stuffed. So I was actually wrong about that. So it's human hair, but I mean, I've cut it up a bit now. I think it's much nicer like this. It suits her age. Um, it's been washed, cut, conditioned. But um, you could always get somebody to root it a bit thicker if you wanted to. But I don't know why this is showing up so so darkly. I really don't. 
for it being thirsty, but I'll come back and do that. I just wanted to come on. I just want a biscuit with that message um, from Nana. And I had a couple of things lying. This is from Give a Girl, 79. I don't know if you remember, guys, but everybody in my nursery wears a little bracelet with an elephant. And I had somebody here doing it before. And then she stopped doing it. And then I got somebody else. And then she let me down. And I had paid her through e eBay and everything. Or PayPal. But um, she's kind of like a friend. A friend of the family sort of thing. So I just sort of had to leave it. Look at this. This is so gorgeous. So if you want to order anything of Give a Girl 79 and she's on Instagram as well. So somebody said to me, I was talking about the little bracelets and I can't remember who it was now they've put me on to her. But look at this. I didn't even pay for this. This is absolutely stunning. It's got the butterfly and it's purple. Oh my goodness. This could just make a beautiful headband. I am trying to pay off at the minute the um, matching fairy well mine is like coloured that Sue just got the, the chai I always say chai as well it's chi star babies so that's what I was originally thinking too about selling some of the babies because like body wise but I just couldn't do it to the end of let's see look at the beautiful chart Thank you so much, Leslie. Thank you. Oh, for purchasing from me. I hope you enjoy the bracelets. I also sent a few extra gifts to say thank you. For being you. Oh, that's so sweet. And subscribing to my channel. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you so much, Leslie. Oh, I'm so grateful to you for doing this. That was just my address that it showed on there, so that doesn't really matter. Sorry, guys. I shouldn't. I don't even know why I'm holding this up right now because I have it on the thing. It's just still not in the best of form, but I'm better than I was. Oh, my goodness, another one. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, these are going to be perfect if I ever get my chi, chi doll. I was just this is just perfect color to match her. And I was just talking about not having any passy clips. These are absolutely stunning, guys. You should, you need to check out her work. I think I ordered four bracelets from her. The last ones that I paid for and everything as well. I actually had a bigger one as well. It was actually ordered for. Aaliyah's Reborn World with her name on it and everything, but it didn't come. Wow, look at that. I just told her to go ahead and choose the colours herself with the little elephants and mix it. <gasps> that is so gorgeous. That would even fit me. And then we need, a, oh look, they are just so perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yay, because I think we need four now and at the moment, I have to see if I can kind of get them sewed on some kind of to some kind of lace or something like that. You know, one of the wee tiny ones for Taffy Toots because she's the full silicone monkey and um, her she, her arms are so thin that I had to like double it up before. And then I thought, you know, that might hurt the silicone. Little D, I normally just wear it like over her clothes. But um, I mean, or her little gloves, her little mitts. But I mean, you couldn't even get any uh any little bits to fit taffy tips so but i'll figure it out oh my goodness oh my goodness it broke what did i do i'm so sorry leslie anyway i just actually discovered the other day that i have you know the, the roll of elastic to make these myself and i actually just said for stuff today and more elephants uh charms on amazon and different colored beads so I'll get this fixed don't worry I don't know how that happened or where the wee elastic is yeah see it's just that little stretchy stuff there I have a roll of that so don't worry about that 
Thank you so, so much for the extra gifts. You are a gem. I'm going to have to roll that up there and be very careful with that until I get those together again. So, yeah, I'm going to have to come back. This was Happy Mail from the wonderful Irish Johnson. I'll come back and do a separate video, guys, because this is already over 12 minutes. I bought this on Facebook, this beautiful little set. Now, it wasn't, um, it wasn't K this time. Look at that. You get the little dungarees and the hat and the little, uh, well, you can wear it all either. It can be used as a carrigan. It's supposed to be for 10 or 11 inches, but the last few things that I ordered, four or five little costumes, actually turned out a bit too small as well the last time from K. So that's actually why I was trying this gear. But now that I have little Blossom and my granddaughter's little porcelain doll and um, no, I don't think they would fit Scarlet either, but yeah. We don't go easy, but I might go on Taffy Toots. And then at Christmas, of course, I was thinking about, because I think that's a 10 or 11 inch, the wee doll that I have ordered from Wendy. We be dolls, but I'm thinking now this might be too small as well. But it is so gorgeous and it will definitely do one of the little ones. Maybe it'll do the little new, um, oh, look at the little pin. Look at that. So cute. Yeah, it'll do a little river that came from the Twisted Beanstalk. That was, I had to pay customs to get these two boxes yesterday. And I actually thought one must have been, that was the big box. The doll was gorgeous that my granddaughter opened, but we had to do it privately. I said it to Iris because my daughter doesn't allow her face on YouTube. That was the doll that she won. And then I thought the other box there must have been from uh, Bean. You know, the doll that got lost, but it wasn't. It was this for me and I can't wait to open it. A small... I can't read that. Tribe, something silver. Charm for good luck. Oh, it's a little charm. You can put it on a bracelet. Do dare do just a little note to say thank you for your custom. Best wishes, Lynn. You, you have to try her out, guess, and I will put her details. She's a wonderful knitter of all sizes. And um, this was actually quite reasonable. It really was. For the whole little set. And um, she did it really, really quickly. Look at that. Look at the little buttons. And there's diamonds in the little bows. I don't know why that's coming out so dark there. I really don't. Yeah. Okay, that's it for now, guys. Let me know about um, if anybody's interested in this beautiful journey. Okay, bye.